All right, developers, time to get excited. Cursor just dropped something that's absolutely game-changing. Cursor 2.0 isn't just an update. It's a complete rethink of how we write code. I'm talking about a native AI model that's 4x faster than GPT-5, parallel agents running simultaneously, an in-app browser that actually works, and a voice mode that lets you literally talk your code into existence. During the course of this video, I'm gonna break down everything that's new, show you live demos. So stay with me till the end of this video. Let's go! As soon as you have installed or upgraded Cursor to 2.0, you will see such a welcome page when you open it for the first time. Let's verify that we have upgraded to 2.0 in the About section. Everything looks good here and we have to .o installed. For our workspace today, I have created a blank folder already with the name cursor 2.0. Let's just select that. Now here is the first striking difference you will notice with the new version that the default tab is Agents and it has a dedicated tab for it. The idea behind this change is that the cursor now wants you to use more of Agents and multi-agent capability to work on a project rather, having to go through the files and rest of the project structure. The editor tab is always there anyway and you can choose to make that default if you like. I prefer starting my view with the files and editor like the classic IDE. I have chosen editor tab. Before we jump on to features in detail, let me just walk you through some new UI elements that I notice here. There's plan option other than agents and ask options we had before. There is a connect to a browser option. And there is a voice input command as well so that I can just narrate instructions. Sounds cool. Let's jump into the details of each of them. First up, Composer. This is Cursor's own in-house AI model, built from the ground up for coding. And here's the kicker. It's 4x faster than similarly intelligent models. But it's not just fast. Composer is trained to understand your entire code base. It remembers conventions, respects your patterns, and this is huge. It almost never hallucinates imports. Let me show you what I mean. Composer is said to be a mixture of experts language model that supports long-term context generation and understanding. As mentioned earlier, it's built with agents or general software engineering workflows in mind using reinforcement learning. They've positioned it as a frontier coding model with top-tier intelligence that seems to surpass its peers. It comes with a 250 tokens per second output speed, which is roughly twice as fast as most coding models and about four to five times faster than some reasoning models. I have bootstrapped a Next.js app using agents in Cursor and now we are going to incrementally add a feature and test Composer's performance versus other models. The app is pretty basic. It just has one page that says hello world. Let's jump to the agent view and we are going to ask the agent to show today's date and add a message. We need the date in DDMMYYAYY format. I'm first choosing Claude Sonnet 4.5 reasoning model, which is typically my go-to model till now. I'm going to start a timer as soon as I hit the run button. Claude works for me with decent speed and I never had any complaint about its speed so far. Claude is thinking, planning next moves, checking for linting and generating code. Let's stop the timer when the generation is fully complete. Let's stop the timer. Our page.tsx is altered now and the command is completed its execution. Let's check the generated code. We see the date formatting code and the section to render the date and the message. The UI reflects the change immediately and correctly. Let's remember for a while, with Claude Sonnet, it took 27 seconds to get this done. Now let's do the same thing with Composer. I am removing the generated code. So now we are back to our start point. Let's add another agent interaction and I am going to copy the same command in the chat. Here is why the new agent tab makes our agent interaction better organized, as I can see the tabs on the left. Let's create a new agent chat and give the same command. This time, I am using Composer as a model and let's record the time this time as well. 
composer is thinking and planning next moves as well like Claude Sonnet. And it is done. Let's stop the timer. I may have stopped the timer a little late by a couple of seconds, but let's say one second. So the time taken by composer is around 10 seconds. The generated code is similar. And if we test it in the browser, we see a similar result. I am amazed by the performance of Composer from 27 seconds down to 10 seconds. This is a game changer. Next interesting feature from Cursor 2.0 is the inbuilt browser that allows to very quickly test your changes and remember not just you. It is the agent that can run the code in the browser now and also test while it codes. This is another awesome feature which is going to cut down on the development time. Agent can now experiment and try out changes and test as well, all within Cursor. I'm just modifying the welcome message a little to see if the inbuilt browser is connected and watching the changes. And it does reflect our changes immediately. Now, the next feature is genuinely wild. You can run up to eight AI agents in parallel each working on the same task differently. Why would you want that? Imagine you're refactoring a complex function. Instead of waiting for one answer, you spin up three agents. Each tries a different approach. They work in isolated sandboxes, separate Git work trees. So they never step on each other's toes. Then you get a combined diff view and cherry pick the best solution. It's like having three junior engineers brainstorm all at the same time. Let's try out this feature. For using multi-agent mode, it is necessary to have a work tree and your code should be connected to a Git repo so that agents can work on their own branches. To select multi-agent mode, let's toggle that option from the models dropdown. We first need to enable the mode and then select the models you want to work on in parallel. Let's create a new agent chat and I am going to ask for a weather card on the homepage. The widget should show weather of the current location of the user. Also to note that I have moved to work tree from the small drop down below the chat. Now, after I hit run, two models are processing the same input at the same time and generating the code change in their own branches. Like we have tested before, I expect Composer to complete faster than Claude Sonnet. Now with this feature, I will get to different proposals of the code change for the same feature and I can pick and choose what fits best for the product. And this gives me flexibility to try out variations. As we expected, Composer has done its job and the generated code is right there, while Claude Sonnet is yet to finish. And now I have output of both the models to compare and I see Composer to implement the same feature has proposed changes in three files and Claude Sonnet in one file and we can see their respective branches as well. And... As a reviewer, I can decide what is right for the product. This is huge for teams. You get parallel exploration, faster decision making, and honestly, it's addictive once you try it. No more, let me try this again with a different model. You just let them all go and pick the winner. Next up in our list is the voice input command. Although I was okay with the typing, but all credits to cursor for the accessibility boost. I'm not gonna lie, it's occasionally hilarious when it misunderstands. But when it works, it's like pair programming with someone who's reading your mind. Plus, you can rubber duck by talking through your problem and the AI actually follows along. The last feature I like the most and I am going to cover today is the plan feature. Plan mode is smart. You tell one model to plan your refactor and another to execute it. Or you run planning in the background while you keep working. It's like delegation. The planner thinks through the strategy while the builder handles implementation. To try this feature, I have created a new agent chat and selected the plan mode from the dropdown. Now I am asking the agent to plan for an in-browser Mario game just for the first level and with a life count of 3 per game. I am taking this example as this is not a small change and needs to be planned and thought through before a code change is made we should have a high level overview of what the change is going to be and how it will be executed. If not for the plan mode, I would have directly executed the code change via the Aganth and it would have been not so easy to change the code later. We all have experienced it. This mode allows me as an architect reviewer to see the plan of action 
before it is executed. If I have a suggestion in the plan, I can do that before we see a lot of code. As a senior developer, I love this feature. Now that our plan is ready to review, let's check it out. And if I like the plan, I have a build command to execute it. Here we see a detailed plan and it begins with requirements analysis and design at a high level. Then we have some implementation details. The technical stack. If I am specific about any change here, I can do that right away before I get some code that I won't like later. See the usefulness of this feature. The component breakdown is explained. The libraries we may need are listed and some assumptions this plan would have taken are also called out. The new files that will be introduced, the changes we will have to do in existing files are listed in detail. The MVP features are also called out so that we clearly know what we are implementing. This is especially useful for big refactors. You don't sit there watching the spinner. You let it plan, then execute. Productivity boost right there. All right, so here's the deal with Cursor 2.0. If you're still writing code line by line in today's world, you're not doing the right thing. This isn't about replacing developers. It's about amplifying them. You focus on architecture, logic, and product decisions. Cursor handles the implementation. I hope you have enjoyed this video and learned something new and useful today. Subscribe to the channel for more such videos. I will see you in the next video. Till then, have a good one.